we get. Squatch is walking down through the valley. Mm. It's hot. And it's still loud up here with the river. Jeez. <laughs> you cut it up. Gotta get used to it. So the gal that saw the Bigfoot down through here, what time of night was it? Uh, probably, I'd say three in the morning. Three in the morning, that's right, huh? Because there was enough moonlight, huh? Wasn't that moonlight that... It was still a little bit, yeah. Was, there was still moonlight and she was able to, it was able to cast it. Yeah, she was using her. Kyle's cousin, Chase, his name is Chase, in Salt Lake County. So he had night vision. Mm. And they were up here with us, and they were sitting here and doing some knocks and a few calls. And we were here for just 20 minutes, half hour, probably about a half hour. And apparently, she was looking for the night vision. I guess she's probably seen something walking on two legs down here. Walking on two legs. And uh, after a little bit, we were sitting in his Jeep going to do the same thing. And uh, he get a phone call from his cousin in front of us. Hey, dude, we're going to go. We're going to pack up and go home. We're out of here. And the uh, boy was what? My girlfriend just seen a, a black figure down there on two legs. And uh, she wants to go home. She wants to get out of there. And that's rough terrain down there. So they left us. And we, we stayed here for a little bit. But we went out. But apparently it freaked her out enough. You know, she <coughs> that's just it. It freaked her not out enough that she wanted to get out of Dodge, you know, that it wasn't just a person, apparently. But who's who's to say, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it very well could have been a person, a hunter, or I don't know who's walking down there at 3 in the morning, though, because there was no lights down there, or flashlights, or anything yeah. that they were using to navigate. Yeah, that's pretty dark. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It gets dark up here. Yeah, there's just something about this upper setting road that just, there's just something about it. Yeah, it's definitely a good area. And that was like two years ago or one year ago that she had that experience? Um, maybe about three. All three years? About three years ago. Never came back up, huh? No. That's very tempting with this Well, if you think about it, it's a good navigation route because you're coming up from there. Work your way down through that canyon. Prop up down there at Mirror Lake Highway. And from there you can go over to Soapstone Basin or just wherever. That's a good corridor. Yeah, it's just a great corridor. 
even up on the rocks, those boulder fields up in there, just to navigate, you know. And I don't think that people understand how hard it is to navigate on these boulder fields. <clears throat> Especially on slopes, and it's scary because one wrong move, you know, twist an ankle and a kneecap, or you know, send big boulders sliding down the hill. Even as big as a bigfoot is, even on a rock boulder field, you know, I think it's a kind of have a little bit of difficulty navigating. Yeah. Way too much uh, documented accounts that have happened up here to dismiss them yeah. just to say you know that it's just a bunch of hoo-ha you know yeah, and I get it you know I do I, I get the fact that you know it just sounds fairy tale-ish but are there mosquitoes up here man I don't I have oh. <laughs> something apparently because I just you know what that is? Oh. Keep on squatching.